India is preparing hard for its space ecosystem. Now, ISRO has given a 10-year vision or roadmap for India's space technology development. I have with me Sri Nilesh Desai, Director of the Space Application Center, who gave this vision for ISRO and India. Namaskar, sir. Namaskar. Uh, Sri Desai, what is the vision looking like? How many satellites, how many rockets, and are we doing planetary explore, exploration also? Yes, it is a mix of both uh, environment monitoring over the Earth observation over the Earth as well as planetary exploration exercises. Now it consists of, we have charted out a vision for 2025 to 2040, which is almost 15 years. And it will consist of, we estimate that around 103 satellites will be in orbit by the time we have we reach by 2040. You you launch 103 or have in orbit, sir? We'll have in orbit 103 by okay. the time. And all will be done in phases. So roughly around 12 to 15 satellites per year. That is the and, and, and what is the breakdown roughly for Earth observation, for uh, surveillance? Uh, do you have a breakdown, sir? See, it is a mix of uh, various Earth observation satellites. Basically for land applications, ocean applications, meteorological observations and then planetary exploration as well as some strategic programs related to our uh, security surveillance. See, you have laid out a plan going up to Chandrayaan 8, I noticed. Now, what will we be doing from 5, 6, 7, 8 onwards? So, as has been already pointed out earlier also, so after Chandrayaan 3, what? That is the question everybody asks. So that will be Chandrayaan 4 which will be a sample return mission. We will go to moon, collect soil sample or rock sample and come back to Earth and analyze this sample. That is Chandrayaan 4. Then there is Chandrayaan 5, which is almost a repeat of Chandrayaan 3, but this time in collaboration with Japan. It is called LUPEX mission. G. It is Lunar Polar exp exp uh, Explorations. That means we will go right now at the tip of the south pole of the moon. That is 90 degree latitude. This time we went up to 69.3 in Chandrayaan 3. So this will, this time we'll go further up to 90 degree latitude and do various research activities, monitoring through our rover. It will be the biggest rover ever put on uh, moon. That will be 350 kg rover, wow. which will be uh, made by Japan. And we'll be contributing various instruments for experimentation. Similarly, we'll be making the lander and the launcher will be provided by Japan. And together, this is a collaborative effort between India and Japan, which will be Chandrayaan-5. Then followed by Chandrayaan 6, 7, 8, where we are in the process of defining this program, where the idea is that finally we want to put even navigation satellite uh, activity around moon, where each of the uh, spacefaring nation will contribute by sending one one navigation satellite so that landing becomes much, much easier on the moon surface compared to what we are doing right now. Similarly, we'll have finally the goal of 2040, which is given by Honorable Prime Minister, where we want to put men on the surface. Indian on the moon. moon. Indian on the moon. That is the ultimate aim in 2040. So we have now 15 years to achieve this target. A lot of technologies, a lot of things are to be done. And we are on our road to achieve this technology. And you have, excellence. you will be using this rocket, the, yeah, the lunar is, module launch vehicle. Yeah, LMLV, which earlier yes. we... Uh, named as uh, NGLV, the next generation launch G vehicle. G now it G is being converted into LMLV, where it will be serving the purpose both for doing our launches for various Earth observation, communication, and navigation satellite, as well yeah. as taking care of the planetary exploration requirement related to launchers. And, and, and what about providing satellite based internet? Are we looking at LEO constellation? Yes, so that is also a demand from various stakeholders. But India is still in the process of defining this configuration. Of course, government doesn't want to fund directly because it is a very huge effort consisting of almost 20,000 satellites. But to begin with, we will launch around 140 satellite configuration, which we have already worked out. And we are now looking for an industry partner which can take up this activity in a PPP mode. So that would be our first step toward the establishing a very elaborate uh, LEO constellation like what Starlink has done already. So, so we also have Navik, and Navik has been struggling for a while. Are we planning to augment it 
and get it ready so that our own navigation satellite system is fully uh, up up and ready yes so for any great nation it is a necessity that we have our own navigation system because as many of you are well aware during kargil war we faced lot of problem yes. utilizing yes. gps so now the whole effort is toward after kargil that we should have our indian navigation system and already navic has been defined we used to call it earlier irnss indian regional navigation yes. satellite system it is a uh, regional system consisting of seven satellites which will be augmented to 11 that was the original plan of course as i mentioned yesterday also we are struggling to operationalize this particular system already we have launched many satellite but one by one some of the satellites have developed some technical issue but now today we have four satellites already in orbit working very well we are going to put another one by the year end and then another two next year early next year so by mid 2026 or by end of 2026 we'll have the operational navigation system navic and that will take care, we call it a base base layer configuration which takes care of the basic navigational requirement of the country and then we have plans to augment it by putting another 24 uh, meo orbit that is on the mid earth orbit satellite configuration which will operate at around 20 22000 km these seven satellites are at 36000 geostationary orbit now you also have the private sector participation will isro lose its value if the private sector does well we already have a 12 satellite earth observation system which has been granted by in space yes or you are looking for a collaboration between the two so after covid all of you are well aware that now new space era or space reforms are in place so new space policy has also been Uh, brought out by government of india 2023 so we are following that space uh, new space related guidelines and we don't see private sector as a competitor earlier we used to have a vendor customer relationship yes. with the private sector but now it is being converted into a collaborator relationship where we will be equal partners in any venture related to space and there is enough activity to be done for the sake of the country for private sector also to contribute in a big way of course they these are initial steps but i am hopeful that private sector will also come up with the standard which isro has set and we will have a very fruitful joint collaborative activity now for private sector to participate we need a space law do you think that could become an issue and how soon should we pass that law i believe the draft is ready isro has done that new space policy already in place yes. but there is a need of space uh, law a space bill as it yes. is called so space bill is under drafting and uh, it is almost ready i understand that and i am sure that uh, parliament will take up passing this particular bill all the stakeholders are working towards that and we are very hopeful that within next uh, few months or by next year we will have space bill already passed by government so that all legalities related to space activities had is form footing legally and the vision looks bright both for isro and for the whole ecosystem vision is very bright as all of you know we want to make our mark in global space market as well today our share is only 2% not even 2% 1.7% so we want to increase uh, as the goal set by honorable prime minister that we should have at least 5% if not 10% market sure. in the global space economy So we are working towards that as i mentioned there is lot of scope of activities in all the sector whether it is earth observation communication navigation and of course space science and planetary exploration activities thanks a lot for speaking to me then you are i always a pleasure learning so much from you Thank so you. that was shri nilesh desai director of the space application center telling us that india has a bright future in space technology by 2040 we should have an indian landing on the moon on an indian rocket sent from indian soil where the countdown will also be indian a bright future not just for isro but for the entire national space ecosystem with camera person ashok mahale in new delhi pallav bagla for ndtv